Well, scientists may be celebrating the Higgs boson breakthrough, but what does it mean for everyday life? Dr Fred Watson is the astronomer in charge at the Australian Astronomical Observatory. Um, I think um, uh, for, for the person in the street, you've kind of got to trust the scientists uh, who are very, very excited about this discovery. Uh, it's one of these things that really is uh, a once in 50 year event, uh, something that puts together a piece of knowledge that we simply did not have before. But uh, it's also one of these discoveries that a long way down the track, perhaps 50 years hence, it might indeed make a difference to everyday life. It's a bit like the kinds of discoveries that happened in the early 20th century, which now play an everyday part in our lives. So is this one of those moments in history where we should note down what we were doing on the day and the hour when this was announced? Yeah, I think we ought to. It's, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a moment uh, a bit like uh, when the first man landed on the moon back in 1969. It's the kind of thing that you will always remember where you were. So can you give us your most gee whiz mind boggling scientific fact to come from this breakthrough? Uh, I, I guess the, 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 the mind boggling stuff is all to do with the way this discovery has been made. Because uh, when the idea of the Higgs boson, this particle that gives other particles their property of mass, when that was proposed back in the 1960s by Peter Higgs at Edinburgh University, probably nobody realised just what kind of engineering would be needed uh, to, to make the discovery. And that's why it's taken nearly half a century to achieve that. So we've got a machine which has a, a tunnel 27 kilometres long uh, underneath the suburbs of Geneva. It whizzes subatomic particles around at nearly the speed of light and then collides them in such a way that you can measure what has come out of those collision processes. It has a vacuum inside it which is a lower vacuum than the surface of the moon and the temperature of this machine is colder than space. Uh, I think they're pretty whiz-bang facts that myself. Of course, today's media is dominated by state of origin rather than the state of the universe. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> um, uh, it, it's all about where your uh, uh, preoccupations lie. And I have to say that uh, the state of origin, because of the excitement last night with this announcement, the state of origin did pass me by. But I did see one graphic that showed the Higgs boson coloured blue. So perhaps that uh, might have given you some insight into where <laughs> that person's uh, loyalties lay. Dr Fred Watson, thanks for joining us. Great pleasure. Thanks very much, Nicole.